thousands of years, the Shadow Men have protected the world of the living against threats crossing over from the spiritual plane known as Deadside, the place where everyone goes without exception when they die. Michael Lawah is the current heir to the mysteries of this ancient lineage, bearer of the Mask of Shadows. When darkness falls, he becomes the walker between the worlds, immortal voodoo warrior, taker of souls, lord of Deadside, the Shadow Man. The 9th of November, 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Jack, Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly, and loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft, and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the soul but only within certain ones, certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain, a place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil. In the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail, for we are many. For we are many! Amen to that. I hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways, and brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. It's my fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live. Can't die. Dead side's a perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. Now where the hell is that church?
Made it. Betty? Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you, and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army will bring to the Earth? That's Apocalypse, Shadowman. That's the end. Okay, okay. So I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? In Gobi. Each Gobi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the Dark Soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the Dark Souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. Jesus, Luke! He's alive! Alive and in pain! I gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that. I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to dead sight. Use it now, Mike. Go dead sight and find Jonty. He's waiting for you at the Merrow Gate. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jaunty and get them dark souls.
Mike, use the bear. Go dead side. I am the Lord of Deadside, shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Lifeside is without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Deadside, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the Deadside Serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. Michael, get your arse over. Hello there, Michael. How's that treating you? Jaunty, kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael the Wah has no place here in Deadside. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages since I last set my eyes on your happy, smiling mug. The feeling's mutual. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe, giving her one with some of that righteous voodoo so she can stay forever young? Something like that. She's been filling your head with her fated pillow talk again, I'll bet. Doomsday in an army giddy until you're drunk with the stuff. She did happen to mention a certain prophetic dream she's been having. Did she now? Well, for once I think the owl witch might be right. See that bloody big black tower yonder? How could I miss it? Well, old Bruegel, the medieval painter blokey, was just telling me the other day that he thought it looked remarkably like a picture he once did. Is that Peter Bruegel? No, Seamus, his distant Irish cousin. Anyways, he was quite shocked, so he was, at the terrible mess that bloody thing's making. Appeared now that nowhere and tearing its way through the place like there's no tomorrow. Which, given what Nettie's saying, might not be too far from the truth. Any idea what's going on in there? Nope, and I shan't be knocking on the front door to find out, neither. 
All I'd say is, if there's something wicked heading this way, it'll be coming from in there. Many mention the Dark Souls. Can you tell me any more about them? I'm afraid I'll have to reply in the negative again, Michael. Suffice it to say, Nettie's told me that they're bloody powerful, well nigh indestructible, and shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Any idea where they might be? What am I, a Dark Soul travel guide now? I suppose you could try all of the ancient sacred places down amongst the whalers and shiverers. I just hope that none of them souls have ended up in that filthy big black tower. From what Nettie was saying, some of them already have, which is all the more reason for me to be pushing on. Open the gates, Johnny. Places to go, people to see, eh, Michael? Just open the gates, Johnny. Did I ever tell you about the time me and Attila the Hun were playing skittles with the guillotine heads of the French aristocracy? Johnny. All right, all right, keep your bloody hair on. Which, looking at your shining bonds, may prove to be rather difficult. Open sesame! And if you be wanting to pop by in Chatterboil, I'll still be here. It's just a shame we can't share a drop of the hard stuff together by a roaring peep fire. I don't drink with snakes.